Every time a wave dumped down on us, I honestly thought we're going to die. When we raised our arms in the air and, and were shouting for help, we didn't know whether anybody on the shore could see us. We were getting towards low tide and, and low tide at Perrinporth is notoriously quite dangerous. I looked back and saw a hand go up in, in, the, in the ocean. So we launched the boat and just kind of tried to get out there as quickly as possible. I immediately made my way over there and as I got there, I saw that the IRB was in a pretty tricky situation with five, six people kind of around it and all kind of just going for some sort of flotation. And I think I grabbed you from underneath the boat and you, you kind of latched onto one of the handles. So, um, so we were trying to okay. get you off, but because of where you were, if we didn't get you off the handle, the boat would have gone over. The place that everyone was in was was quite tricky because the kind of the sort of small flash rip that had opened up had sucked you guys out sort of into a hole and almost out the back of the hole and what, what you had out the back of the hole was quite a large dumping wave and uh, what we really wanted to do on the craft was nip in pick you guys up as quickly as possible turn immediately and run I, I, didn't want to, I didn't want to lose you off the mat in that area because then I think, and I, I personally have never yeah. had this before, but I, in my mind I was thinking at that point I would probably have to abandon the craft and, and keep, you, keep you afloat just on my own. My hair stand on dead end seeing you all because it's all just flooded back to me. Um, I just want to say, I, you know, you saved my life. I can never thank you enough. Um, I can't believe how quickly the situation changed. You know, I had no idea we were in trouble and it just changed in a second, literally in a second. And you just do such an amazing job. You're all heroes. You're such amazing people.